So this week we are talking about our newest top, which is called <sighs> Exhale. So you know when you start a new season, you've just ended a season, you're about to start a new one and you're kind of in that in-between time? This is the top that reminds me of that. The top that I'm always looking for um, because I can't really decide what I'm going to wear, I don't know the look I want yet, and I just want something easy so I don't have to think about it. That is this top. So let me just take you through all the style details really, really quickly, and then I will show you all my tops because I went crazy and made a lot again, just like I did with the BUT. So it's designed for stretch knit fabrics. Um, it goes from an Aussie. Uh, 6 to 24, which is about the equivalent of a 2 to uh, 20 in American. But the best thing to do is go by your measurements, which you'll find um, in every pattern. It will tell you which measurement to use um, and then to make the best size to fit you. Um, this is totally customizational. <laughs> You can customize it for your shape. So um, a lot of us have a different upper bust to bust to hip. Um, so you can easily multi-size and we show you how to do that. It is so simple. Um, just quickly to multi-size this, it's really a matter of the top half would be your upper bust size and the bottom half would be your hip size if you need to multi-size. But again, it's so, so simple. Okay, design for stretch knit fabrics. Um, I have used a whole lot of different fabrics so that you can see the difference between a drapey fabric um, and a fabric with more body. And when a fabric has more body, it's kind of, think of it like, um, I guess a little bit more structure. It's not, we don't mean rigid, it's just, it's almost like it has a strong personality of its own when we say it has body. So it doesn't it doesn't kind of mold to your personality like a drapey fabric does. Did you like that little <laughs> dance? Um, a fabric with body has its, it tries to force its own personality on you. So you need to take that into account when you're sewing. Okay, so let's go through the styles that we have. There are two tops. So there is a shorter top and that sits just below the hip. Um, and then there is a longer top, which is a little bit like a tunic. And they have the lovely straight um, hemline, very, very slightly curved. Then we have the three high-low designs that are tops. So we have um, the top length, which is this one. We have the midi length, which is longer at the back. And then we have the maxi length that is long, even longer at the back. All the fronts are the same. You, have, you can choose between a higher and a lower depending on your taste um, and your body length and really what suits you. Really, really simple. Um, and then we have a dress. Um, the dress comes in shorty, like me, uh, regular or tall. But again, you can customize it however you want for your purposes, your style, whatever you like. That is the beauty of, of sewing. Okay, let's go through um, necklines and armholes. So necklines, we have the three rounded neckline and we have a v-neck. Now, the v-neck is so, so simple. So if anybody that is scared of a v-neck, don't be scared. I'm also going to do a little video um, in the next week or so um, to help guide you through it. Um, but again, it is not difficult. So if, you're, um, if you have a little bit of experience, I wouldn't do this as an absolute beginner, but if you have a little bit, go for it. Um, okay, sleeves. So we have the long sleeve, um, we have a half sleeve, we have um, a short sleeve, and then we have two sleeveless. One is a wide cut and one is um, an inner cut, and it's totally up to you which you choose of all those sleeves. Okay, let me start um, on the designs that we have, and I'll take you through one by one. This is the awesome V-neck. It is the inner sleeveless and it's the short top. You can see there's a little bit of room. It's just nice and easy. Um, I would style this one with a, a higher waist pant. This one sits right up at my waist. Um, so a slim fit, 
higher waist like um, a pant you might have in your wardrobe or uh, the heart light, the starlight, um, the um, Friday feels and the stride, they all have that slimmer, higher waist. Um, so that's gonna be your best balance to go from a roomy to a slim. And this is in a poly jersey. So it's nice and soft, nice and drapey, easy, fluid. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum to the fabric I just showed you, we have a scuba. Now a scuba has body. So like I said earlier, it, it maintains its shape. It wants to put its personality onto you. So you can see here, it does sit out a lot more. Um, again, if you are gonna have something that has um, body and it does kind of sit out a little bit more on top, don't pair it with something that has the same personality on bottom. So don't, don't um, pop it with it like a big skirt or a baggy pair of pants or something like that. You want it slim down the bottom. So a, a tube skirt, a fitted skirt, um, fitted pants, um, the stride skirt, again, something like that that is going to balance those two shapes out. So this is actually my favourite. So this is the high neck again. There you go, the high neck. And then the cutaway sleeve. It's just really, really cute. Okay, so another fabric that does have body is cotton lycra. Um, whenever I do a pattern and often in the group, um, someone will ask me um, whether you can use cotton lycra. Now, you can use cotton lycra, but you need to understand that it has body. So it's gonna try and put its personality onto you. So if you want that casual, relaxed t-shirt look, then yes, cotton lycra is fine. Um, now, one thing I do want to note is boobs. So because this has a, a, a swing kind of feel to it, if you have boobs, it is gonna sit out from your boobs. So you need to take that into account. So whether it's um, not using cotton lycra, um, or you might wanna do the tuck, um, it is totally up to you. Um, it is a really cute little top, as you can see, but just take those things into account. Now this awesome little thing is the longer length top. So with a little pair of shorts, or again with the stride, or um, the Friday feels, totally, totally cute. So you can see it has that gorgeous swing, little short sleeves, the high neck. Um, now for this one, I've used a Liverpool. Now again, this is a fabric with body. So it is going to give you that structure, a little bit of drape, but not the fluidity that a poly knit or a rayon jersey will give you. But it is still really, really cute. So this is paired with the symphony skirt. Um, so even though the, the symphony skirt is fuller at the bottom, it does have a fluidity that makes this outfit work even though the top is not fluid at all. And then this is the same top paired back with a really light poly jersey pair of urban flares in the wide leg pant. Um, I think this works well because, again, the pants are really, really light. I'm really loving the longer line top with the foxy legs as well. It's just really gorgeously casual. Um, it also makes a great workout top because it's nice and loose and easy over leggings. And looks just as cute with heels as it does with sneakers. One more. This is with um, the stride. So you've got the tightness up here and then you've got a little bit of body and fluidity at the bottom. Okay next up we have the high-low top. So it's higher at the front and it's lower at the back. This is the long sleeves clearly. Um, this is a really soft um, viscose jersey like really lovely and drapey and really easy to wear. Um, again it's the high neck that works best on me. Um, now this is the low cut front. Um, you'll see on um, a couple of the other ones that the, some fronts are higher. So you get that choice whether you want to cut um, high or low, depending on what you're wearing, your taste, um, your body length. 
totally up to you. So this is long sleeves, totally gorgeous. Looks really, really good with the Friday fields. And if you're heading into cooler weather or your weather is still cool, um, the long sleeve is a really, really versatile option. Pants with shorts, with a skirt. You can do the tuck. In this lovely short length, it's just nice and easy. And that's what we love the most. Okay, this is the same cotton lycra that I showed you earlier. Um, little short sleeves, a high neckline. Um, now this is in the high-low top. So you can see when you, do, when you do have a fabric that has body, it, you can see how it holds its own structure. Um, <clears throat> so if you're okay with that, then you can see that a cotton lycra is really, really cute. This is the last one in the high-low top. Um, it's actually a real surprise favourite for me. It's a really stretchy um, ITY poly jersey. Um, and you can just see how such a busy, busy print with lots and lots of colours, it actually works really, really well. And in these kind of fall colours, um, it's just really, really subtle. I love it. And something like this with so many colours means that you can dress it up for work really, really easily. Or dress it down with denim just as easily. The next length I want to show you is the high-low midi length top. So this one is the higher cut front and then you can see it has the longer back. Um, and you can see in a poly jersey like this, it is quite stretchy. It's lovely and fluid and moves really, really nicely. And it's so easy to team back with your favourite pair of jeans, pair of leggings, or your favourite pants. Really, really cute. Again, we have the midi length. Now this is in the half sleeve and this is the mid neck. So you can see it sits out a little bit lower and a little bit wider. Now this fabric, you can see how much drape and fluidity it has. This is a viscose jersey, so it's very, 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 very stretchy. And team with a pair of shorts for the weekend, you can see it has a lovely t-shirt feel in such an easy casual fabric. And then that gorgeous tail at the back. And here it is teamed with the Urban Flares in a really, really fluid, stretchy fabric. And lastly, you can see how gorgeous the midi length looks with the Friday Feel skirt. And lastly, for some dramatic effect, in the high-low options, we have the maxi. I've cut the low front here and then the maxi back. How good is that? Um, here I've used um, a boost spandex. Again, it has body, um, but it actually has drape at the same time. It's kind of that in between. Um, high neck, sleeveless, and I've just used the print. You can see right down the back. And you can see how fantastic it looks with the Friday Feels skirt. So that slim and the fluid mixed together. For a little bit of fun, I thought I'd put it with my stride skirt in the same fabric. And it actually kind of looks cute, dramatic, and I'm still loving it with the pant. So you get that slim line and the drape, that gorgeous maxi hemline. What's not to love? Okay, next up is the dress. Now I have two dresses to show you. One in a fabric with body, which is this one. This is a ponty. Um, and the other one is in um, a very fluid poly jersey fabric. And you'll be able to see the difference and just how versatile this pattern is. So this is a ponty. Now you can see that it, see how it just wants to have its own shape and not kind of sit down to my body. Um, so if that's the look you're after, then a ponty would be perfect. If it's not, then you need something with more drape, more floppy. So this is totally cute. So again, high neck, sleeveless. 
Um, now for this one, this is the short length and then instead of taking um, a one and a half centimeter hem, I took a five centimeter hem. So you can adjust the length to suit your body, to suit your legs, to suit the season, the fabric, whatever you want. Now if you're going to be layering with this dress, which let's, let's face it, um, when you have a change of season, we need to layer. So if you're going to be layering, I recommend layering like hemlines. So a little bit above, a little bit below is fine, but you can see here how cute that looks. Um, this is the Songbird kimono and it's just in a woven rayon fabric, but you can just as easily add um, the Embrace Cardi in that same kind of knee length. Really, really cute. So this is the poly jersey. So you can see how differently it sits to the other one. Fits closer to my body because it flops. <laughs> so it still has that same um, shape, but the different fabric makes it a different dress. So again, sleeveless, high neck, easy breezy, Let's talk pattern hacks. This is the cow neck from the BUT. You can add the cow neck or the funnel neck to this awesome top. This is um, the top length in a really light sweater knit and it's perfect for that in between weather where you just need to pull on just a light sweater over um, a cami or a t-shirt. Just for those in between times, I thought this was perfect. It's just easy fitting. It's not going to be snug. It's just really, really cute. Now this is the same cow neck, same long sleeve, and it's the midi high-low, so that in-between midi high-low um, with the, the higher cut top. And it's just, when I put this on, I made a video for Mal and I'm just like, oh, I can't believe, it. it's so beautiful, but so easy and casual, but just, I like it when I surprise myself. So that is the perfect pattern mash. So let me show you a pattern hack. So this is a maxi dress pattern hack. So it is very full. It's just easy to wear, throw it on, a pair of sneakers or sandals and walk out the door. And all you need to do is just extend the length of the dress that's already in the pattern. Um, looks awesome with a maxi songbird if you need to cover up a little bit. And then if you need to add a bit more shape through the body, we have added a sash to the tutorial that you can add to um, either the your pattern hacked maxi or to the short dress or you can just make your own and it just adds that little bit of shape that you might want and another sleeveless maxi pattern hack and you can just see by adding a belt just how versatile the whole thing becomes so what did you think? I would love to hear what you guys think. What's your favourite fabric? What's your favourite design? Um, if you write in the comments below, I would love to read it. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really love doing these videos for you. Um, I really feel like you get to know me, I get to know you, and it's just a lot of fun. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the group.